evening everyone, welcome to Benita at Night. I'm your host, Benita Danielle. Today, we will be talking about why you are at home on Valentine's Day, lonely, while your friends are on dates and getting flowers. After months of research, it was discovered that the reason for Valentine's Day singleness and loneliness is actually very simple. Now, without further ado, I'm going to show you guys the video of the scientist who explained this phenomenon and how we can overcome it as a nation. About a month ago, I like your pictures. About a month ago, I sent a DM and you ignored. Now Valentine is coming. Where is your boyfriend? You are sitting at home. Lonely, your friends are getting flowers. Where is your boyfriend? You are sitting at home. Welcome back to my channel. I can't make noise because it really is nighttime and I'm surrounded by a lot of people in my environment and they can hear if I make noise. So I can't do a loud hi guys. So please accept that one. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution. Don't be a bystander, be a part of the revolution. Also turn on my post notifications so you know every single time I post. I'm looking for people who'd be interested in doing my intro. So this is just to show off more of my subscribers. So basically anyone who watching can opt to just say I want to do the intro I actually use your clip of you doing the intro on my video so basically all you have to do is um, send me a DM or an email off your video and you got to take it like this not this this no yes no yes so anyway just take a video of yourself doing the intro and you stand a chance of having your video used on my actual channel so today we are actually talking about valentine's day valentine's day is on friday last year i did a video for the guys um, and for the girls but it was what to get your man for valentine's day so if you're still wondering what to get your man for valentine's day click the video and go check it out so you can get some ideas and i don't know i thought about doing what to get your girl for valentine's day but then i figured that i mean honestly people know what to get for girls is pretty it's pretty simple so i didn't make that video but comment down below if you guys actually want me to make a video like that and I will make it happen next year so comment down below hopefully by next year you actually have a girlfriend to gift it to Bruh. today we're gonna be talking about the worst Valentine's Day experiences ever like ever I got some of you to submit your worst Valentine's Day experiences and I'm gonna be sharing those with you guys let me tell you about my best Valentine's Day experience and people are probably gonna think it's the worst but for me I liked it but people are gonna say like oh you know that's pretty sad but my best Valentine's Day experience in my 21 years of life was two years ago I was fasting with my mom and um, we were we went to church, right? So my dad came to pick us up after church, and it was on Valentine's Day. And we went to and we went out to go eat. It was my mom, my dad, and me. So we went out to go eat in this nice restaurant, guys. It was really nice, like it was a pretty like high end place. And when we walked in at the restaurant, they gave all of the ladies roses. When I tell you that was my first time in my whole life, in my existence, long, the whole thing that I've ever gotten a rose on Valentine's Day. That was the very first time and I got it from a restaurant because I was third wheeling for my parents. Men. That's my life. That's that's my best Valentine's Day experience, which is very sad. So guys, like I don't know, I feel like are you like am I really gonna go down this way again this year? Like not even that way because where am I gonna get a rose this time? Like hectic 
hectic guys like it's rough y'all gonna let me go down this way no one is gonna just send me a, a young rose you know a bouquet you get me you know a, a, a small teddy bear big teddy bear a note like y'all gonna let me go down this way guys like, anyway let me start sharing some of these stories um, okay so the first one is this gent took back my valentine's day gift because i said he mustn't call me babe because i didn't like the word imagine having a gift taken away from you minutes after getting it because of the word babe what nah sis let me give you the tea let me tell you something that gift was not for you that gift was for the love of his life he gave it to you to make it seem like he was buying you something like to not hide it but that gift was for the love of his life and his real girlfriend ultimately because also like if he took it away who did he give it to where did it go and he never gave it back to you like he never gave it back to you bruv like and you didn't see him eat it in front of your face nah babes sorry sorry you are not you are not the one i don't get people who take back gifts there was this one time in primary school where this couple they were dating right and when they broke up my man went to her and told her i want everything back that i've ever bought for you why 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 if you are dating someone who wants gifts back guys honestly just just let it go just move on the ghetto so the next one is I was supposed to go out on a date with my boyfriend. However, he said that he had a family issue and we could not go out that night. I decided to go out with my friends and have a girls night to celebrate Valentine's Day as they were single. When we arrived at the restaurant, I saw my boyfriend on a date with someone else. When I walked up to the table to ask him what was going on, he acted as if he didn't know me. Jesus is love! Yeah. Surely this is how you were looking around the room to find out who the clown was and then you realize I am a clown. I am a clown. clown. Just like I said with the first girl though, um, you clearly you were not the the main one and he had a real love of his life that he had to spend valentine's day with and honestly i feel like maybe, maybe this was this year, but, mm, so, <laughs> so you're telling me that when you when you walked up to him he hit you with a i hate to say it i hope i don't sound ridiculous i don't know who this man is i mean he could be walking down the street i wouldn't i wouldn't know a thing sorry to this man Honestly, at that point, surely we gotta fight. Like, surely we need to throw hands. So, surely someone needs to catch hands. Go, 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 go. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Violence is never the answer, kids, by the way. Hope you had a good time with your friends, though. The next one is, my girlfriend did not pitch up when I was trying to surprise her. Imagine other people are dying to have a Valentine's Day experience, to be surprised and stuff. And then there are people who are being stood up. Like, well, what I would say, you should get infinity stones like Thanos and whoosh. Like, what else are you gonna do, mate? The next one says, they gave me, it's a very vulgar word used there, so I'm gonna use the word sex. They gave me sex as a present, as if I don't get it any other day. Women who give sex for Valentine's Day, like, what's, what's going on? Stop this nonsense! <laughs> Apparently women are the worst gift givers ever, especially for Valentine's Day. But like, they say that the whole year you'll be talking about how you want a FIFA game. And then when it comes your birthday or when Valentine's Day come or any day to be gifting, she'll rock up with socks and 21 reasons why she loves you. <laughs> they say all women do is tell you reasons why they love you and give you socks and sex. I'm sorry. Oh, it is goodness. what it is. It is <laughs> what it is. Okay guys, so the very last my worst Valentine's Day experience story is... On the morning of Valentine's Day, I took a pregnancy test because my period was late. Later that night, my man took me out on a date and I told him about the positive test just as the food had arrived. He got up and left and never came back. I had to pay the bill. When you say never came back, 
Do you mean he never came back for the dinner? Or do you mean he never came back ever? Like, oh, I'm so sorry you had to go through that. I'm not even gonna make jokes about this one because that's If you kept a child, I'm hoping he's back in your life and he's helping you raise the child or whatnot. But hey, I hope you had money to pay for the bill. Hope you enjoyed your food and you took his food as a takeaway and enjoyed it. Since you were eating for two anyway, two plates is sufficient. Guys, that's all from sharing my worst Valentine's Day experience. I hope some of these made you laugh. I hope some of these made you rethink what you're about to do to someone's child for Valentine's Day. I hope it makes you think about what you're gonna get people for Valentine's Day but also I hope it made you feel this bad about being single or alone on Valentine's Day again there's nothing wrong with being single people always make it seem like being single is a sickness or something's wrong with you like it's you know it's, it's a sin to be single nothing is wrong with being single being single is normal it's part of life and it's needed honestly Valentine's Day is a social construct it's I really believe it's made up and you have a choice to celebrate it or not so don't let people pressure you into celebrating something that you don't believe in or don't want to believe in and also if you're going to be celebrating it know why you're celebrating it don't just follow things blindly for the vibes for the good times for the babies because you need to be intentional about the things you're following and the things that you're passing down you know what I mean for those of you who do have partners and who will be gifting check out my what to get for your man video and again let me know if you want me to do what to get your woman for Valentine's Day but that's it for today guys I hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and I will be back with more videos peace and love guys